Hi everybody, it's Miss Jenikin. For today's video, we are going to be talking about long vowels. And you might have noticed behind me, I have some little long vowel cards to help us remember how we can find long vowels when we're reading and when we're listening. So today, um, we're going to be doing word families um, using my word family tree right over here, or word family house, excuse me. Um, and we're gonna be talking about a couple of strategies when reading um, long vowel words, okay? So we're gonna All start. Right, here we go, let's get started talking about long vowel spellings and how we can learn different strategies with long vowels um, and the different ways we can spell them so that way we can get better at being readers. All right, so we're gonna do a quick review of a way you can find a long vowel sound, which is by using magic E. So I've got magic E here. If you haven't already watched my video on magic E, which is the um, silent E at the end of CBC words, I strongly encourage you to pause this and watch that real quick first. Um, but if you don't have time, that's okay too. We are going to be doing a review on magic E using our word family house with the word family I'd. Can you say that? And this word family, if I did not have the E, what would this say? Id, huh? Id. Because we would just sound it out I says I, D says D, ID. But when magic E comes around, who can turn ID into I'd? Who can turn ID into I'd? Magic E can, magic E can, magic E. He's the man. So if you're seeing words that have a vowel here and an E at the end, that might be a long vowel sound. So when you're practicing reading, try to sound it out. Does it sound right with a long vowel? All right, I'd. Let's look at this word family right here. So I'd has the vowel I, and with the vowel I, there's lots of different ways we can make long vowel I, but what we're gonna look at right now is this one, okay? Obviously we can say I like I went to the store, right? It's the word I. This is the way with magic E. So we could write um, hike, uh, uh, hide, um, uh, I'm losing my train of thought now, but this is the one that we would talk about. So just because we're talking about the word family I'd, I'm going to use my dry erase marker and I'm going to put the consonant letter D. And what we're looking for is this beginning letter or beginning sound. Do you think we can do it? I think so too. All right, just to help us, I'm going to put it right here using my magnets. All right. So we have our word family house here with the word family I'd, I'd, and I'd is spelt I-D-E, I'd, and it's using the strategy magic E. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the beginning letter and then you're going to try to read it with me, okay? So just to make it easier for you, um, I'm going to bring these up like this and then you are going to try to read the word okay so first of all what is this I'd that's right I'd now I want you to get your mouth ready to say I'd now can you put it together I'd what's the word hide that's right. So if I put an H in front of I-D-E, I get hide. All right, let's see what the next one's gonna be. Okay. 
So what is the word family? I'd. And how do we know? Because we see magic E at the end. We are going to try putting it together. And I want to get your I want you to get your mouths ready to say. Okay, get your mouth ready to say. I'd. I'd. What word is that? Ride. Ride. That's right. Ride. And that might look something like this. What are some other things you could ride besides a bike? You can ride a horse. You can ride a airplane. You can ride in a car. Ride. All right, let's try another one. What's the word family? And how do we know? Because of magic E. So it doesn't say id, it says I'd. So I'd. Now this is a blend. Remember when we talked about blends, you have to make sure that you are hearing both of the sounds, but just a little bit. So get your mouth ready to say this sound. And then say this sound. Sl. Sl. Do you see that? Sl. Sl. Okay, I'll say this one. You say, you say I'd. Ready? Sl. What's the word? Slide. Do you have one of those in your playgrounds? Maybe at a park near you or at your school? A slide. That's right, slide. Now remember, we're talking about the long vowel sound, I, and the strategy is magic E. Okay, we can see it right here on our ice cream cone, I'd. All right. What's the word family? I'd, fabulous. All right, this one's a little bit tougher, but we're gonna do another blend, okay? What is this blend? Burr, that's right. Because you get your mouth ready to say b, burr, and then you make this sound after. It's not burr or burr or burra, <laughs> it's burr. You can imagine it like you're really cold. Burr. Okay? Burr. Burr. I'd. Burr. I'd. What's the word? Did you think of this? A bride. A bride is a woman who is getting married. That's a bride. Miss Jenikin will be a bride next year. All right, so this was our first review of long vowels, okay? And I wanted to review our strategy, which is Magic E. Uh, for more about Magic E and to really get into singing some Magic E songs, please visit my um, video that I will post in the description below um, and check out the Magic E song, okay? Off we go to when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. All right, here we go. So the next strategy for reading long vowel words is vowel pairs. Can you say that? Vowel pairs. And a pair is how many? Two, right? A pair is two, like a pair of shoes or a pair of mittens right? A pair. You need two. Um, so we're looking at vowel pairs, which means we have two vowels, A, E, I, O, or U, next to each other. And when they come together, they make a new sound. They make a long vowel sound. So that's why I have up here in parentheses, long vowel pairs, because we are focusing on when two vowels come together and they make a long vowel sound. 
All right? So the long vowel the, um, word family that we're going to use is A, I, N. Can you spell that? A, I, N. Great. Now, the last sound is easy. That's what? Mmm. That's the ending sound. Now, where do you see the two vowels? What are the two vowels? A and I. So when we see these two vowels next to each other, we might get a little confused like, wait, is it an or is it in? Because if we have an, it's an. If we have in, it's in. So what do we do when, we're the, when they're next to each other? Well, in a lot of words, when we see this, it says the first vowel's name, which is why I like to say a fun rhyme, which is when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Can you say that with me? When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Now, it doesn't work in all words because English is sometimes hard, but we're talking kindergarten. So when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So here are our two vowels, right? The first one is A, the second one is I, and the last letter is a consonant, N, N. What is the first vowel? A. So when these two vowels go walking, which means are in a word, when they see two vowels, the first one does the talking. The first one's going to say its name. So what's the name of this letter? A. Can you say that? A. So we are talking about long vowel A. Now, long vowel A, you can see as the letter A. Like, um, we went to a restaurant, A. You can also see it with magic E right here, like make or um, eight, things like that. Um, and then we also can make long vowel A by putting these two vowels together, A, I. All right? So you could find this word, for example, um, my class and I are being pen pals. And so we like to write to each other. And I get lots of mail. Mail. So when these two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, and the talking is A. All right? So the word family that we're going to use, like I said, is ain. But I'm going to keep this guy up here just to remind us. All right. Ain. Let's start with, ooh, let's start with this one. This is what it was doing a couple days ago. What's this? Ain. And how do you know that this says ain? And not an or in, how do you know? It's because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, ain. Now, what sound does this make? R ain. R ain. What's the word? Rain. Right? Rain! It was raining! Oh my goodness, it was raining for so long. I think it was on Sunday, Monday too. Rain. So now you know that if you want to spell the word rain, you could try these other strategies, but now we've learned that the, that pair that we have to use is A-I, right? Rain, fabulous. All right, let's look at the next ain word. Um, ooh, I like this one. All right, what's this? Ain, and what's this? Ch, that's right, ch. Ain. Ch. Ain. What's the word? Chain.
chain. Oops, can't really see it with my light. Chain. Chain like a necklace chain or a chain um, like that you might use for um, like in the shop. <laughs> I don't know. Chain. <laughs> Where might you find it? Chain. Um, so that's another example of an AI long vowel pair word. Chain. Rain, chain. How about this one? Rain, train. I mean, rain, chain. Burr. If I have chain and I take off the ch and I add burr, what do I get? Burr. Ain. Brain. That's right. And how would you spell brain with this blend? Burr. B R A I N. Brain. All right, last one. Even though this is the last one, I encourage you to pause um, even after the last one too and think of some other words that have this A I sound. See if you can find any more. All right, we've got rain, chain, and brain. Let's see what the last one's gonna be. All right. Ain. This is a little bit of a hard one. Ready? Tur. Can you say that? Tur. So we get our mouth ready to say T, but then we say R after. Tur. Terrain. Terrain. Train. Like a choo choo train. Choo-choo train. <laughs> I know a lot of my students used to write it as C-H-R-A-I-N because sometimes when we're talking, we say train and it sounds like ch, but really, what is it? Train, train. <laughs> awesome. So now that we know the word family ain, if you ever see A-I next to each other, you'll know that it says what? A, because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. All right, we're gonna do another example of our two vowels going walking while the first one does the talking. All right, here is our next word family for our vowel pairs. So first of all, let's say the letters that we see. E, A, T. So, T is the last sound, and that's a consonant, and it says T. That's right. But now we have to figure out what this part says, because it's two vowels. Is it et, or is it at, or is it neither? So what is the strategy that we're learning? That when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So here we see our two vowels. Remember, our vowels are A, E, I, O, U. And E-A next to each other, who is first? Who's first? E is first. And what sound does long vowel E say? E. So when these two go together, it just says E. Eat. Eat. All right? Eat. So, First, I want to show you our um, little guy here. So this is an eagle. So before I showed you um, the acorn and then the ice cream cone, this is an eagle. Now, the other ways that we could say E, like a long vowel spelling, is through magic E, like we learned before, like in the word here. Like, are you here yet? Here, do you hear that? Oh, it's different, but here. We can also say E by using E, -E like the sight word C. Oops, that is a little bit of a messy S there. Oopsies. S, there we go, but take our time. So here, C. Now in our word family today, we're gonna talk about this one, E-A. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking, which is why E-A says 
E as an eagle. And actually the word eagle is spelled like this. I had to write it small up here, but what are the first two letters? E-A. Eagle. Eagle. Might as well label it, huh? <laughs> All right, so we're going to focus on this one, E-A. All right, let's do it. I'm going to hang this guy up like that. All right, the first one we're going to look at is... this sound. S eat. S eat. What's the word? Seat. That's right. Seat. Like the seat of a bicycle. Your seat. Or if your teacher says, please take your seat, it means please sit down, huh? Seat. Fabulous. Oops, I just shook my camera a little bit. Sorry, everyone. That was not an earthquake, I promise. All right, seat. Let's see what the next word will be. Um, eat. <sighs> eat. <sighs> eat. What's the word? Heat. Heat, like what's coming off of this iron, which is what you use to straighten your clothes. Irons are hot, so they give off a lot of heat. 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 I hope that you're saying these along with me. If you haven't been, um, keep going with me, and then if um, you want to go back and do it with me, I, it's really helpful when you say these. Um, and it helps you remember it a lot better. All right, two more. Our word family is eat. And we're going to put this sound in front. Mm, eat. Mm, eat. Meat. This kind of meat is not nice to meet you. Because with that one, we, we, we would use E-E, -E, like in C. This meat is like turkey or ham or chicken or fish. It's a type of food, meat, okay? Meat, when we wanna spell meat, we use E-A. As we're learning how to read, you will practice all of these and they're just gonna stick in your brain so much easier as you practice. So sometimes if you accidentally use E-E -E instead of E-A, it's fine because your teacher can still read it. You used a strategy to make a long vowel pair, okay? Last one. Eat is the word family. Now this is a blend, or it's not a blend, it's a digraph. Um, and it says what? What does it say? What? Yeah, the H is silent. It doesn't say anything. So it really just says wuh. Wuh, eat. Wheat. Wheat. So get your mouth ready to say this. Wheat. Wheat. Anyone know what wheat is? Wheat is used to make bread or flour. Isn't that cool? So flour is the stuff that you use to make bread and wheat is the plant that it comes from. Wheat. Fabulous. What other words do you think you can find with the E-A vowel pair? We are going to move on to our last couple of these. Hang in there. Let's come, pa press pause if you want, take a break. I'm going to change out the word family house. All right, for our last word family house, we have these vowel pairs. I think some of you are looking at me like, huh, Miss Jennikin, this is the letter Y. And it's not A, E, I, O, or U. Well, if you've heard, Y can sometimes be used as a substitute vowel. Kind of like a substitute teacher, I like to think of it. 
So when A and Y come next to each other, they say A. Why? Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So what's the first one? A, exactly. Just like, oops, I shook my camera again. The month we are in right now. What month is it? May, that's right. Maybe I'll even put it right here if it stays. And then we can see it as one of our examples. If it stays, we'll have to see. No, I don't think it's gonna work. I'll put it down here. Maybe we can see it if I move my little fireplace out of the way. You might have noticed even in that sentence, I said a couple of A-Y words. All right, A. Say it with me, A. Perfect, A, A-Y. Um, our first word is, all right, let's make the sounds, ready? A, hey, nice. Now this is not hey like hey, it's hey like hey, that's for horses. See, hey for horses, hey. Fabulous. So my picture of my hey will go there. Hey, perfect. Actually, I'm just gonna hold on to this one. All right, the next one is a color. Now, when we see this blend, we get our mouth ready to say G, uh, but the sound, so G, ready? Grr. Good, a lot of you slid that sl slid into the R with me. Grr, right? Grr, A. Grr, A. What's the word? Gray, like the color. Not silver, gray. Fabulous. Gray, hay, may. What else are we gonna learn now? Ooh, here we go. If you've ever had hot lunch at school, or maybe you went to a different type of cafeteria, you might have used this to carry your food. Do you know what this is called? A tray tray. For those of you who remembered TR from train, I'm glad that you're recognizing that it sounds kind of the same as the beginning of train, huh? Where sometimes we say ch, but really it's TR. Tray and train both start this way. Tray, right? Have you used a tray before? The last a, oops, the last A-Y word we're going to learn with two vowels going walking and the first one doing the talking is oh, a three letter blend. Oh my goodness. Okay, ready? It's the same thing with two letter blends. So don't panic. Get your mouth ready to say s. Now you're gonna say per after. Okay, so we're breaking it down. S, per. Spur, spray, spray. Did you think of this? Shh, shh, shh. Like you're cleaning the house? Spray, yeah, spray. Wow, so, okay, so we are just about done with today's video. Uh, tune in tomorrow for the second part of the long vowel pairs. Today, we did uh, the magic E with I, E. So we focused on this one right here, if you can see and pause, right? Uh, we also talked about A, I, how that says A in words like rain. And then we also learned about E, A and how it says E, like in meat or heat. E-A says E. And then we talked about A-Y and how A-Y, even though Y is a sometimes vowel, says A. And in tomorrow's video, we'll be talking about 
our long vowel O and our long vowel U. And then we'll also be talking about uh, a little bit more about long vowel I. Okay? I will see you tomorrow.